well faced a lot of production challenges today folks but now finally we get started with this video and we discuss what is web3 well i wish i knew the answer uh, but anyone who claims that they know is probably just second guessing think of everything you do on the internet today i mean everything you can imagine chances are you spend majority of your time on few apps like google facebook youtube instagram twitter linkedin and whatsapp now if we club these together based on who owns it we find that alphabet owns google and youtube and this chunk controls search and video instagram facebook and whatsapp may control 80% of your daily interaction you make calls you chat with your friends you share travel stories with them and all the data goes to one company called meta if you have to buy something you can only think of a few websites like amazon flipkart mintra one thing that is common is that a few individual have a lot of power in determining the direction of the world and that is a lot of trust we don't think about it consciously enough but just take a second to do that and it is evident that these companies are driven by one primary objective that is to maximize profits the records of these companies are not spot free twitter has been known to ban accounts in the name of policy violation google and facebook have been known for their aggressive targeting and questions have been raised on the whatsapps end to end encryption claims reports are available on how amazon allegedly uses sellers data to find out which products are profitable and then launch their own products and at the end of all it is we who have no real power suffer the consequences without fully understanding what terms of services you are agreeing on if you spend enough time to read the entire terms of service and find something that doesn't resonate well with you you just have to live with it well all of your friends use facebook instagram and whatsapp and it's not like you can just step away you may be thinking well my data is useless let them use it who cares and this collective ignorance can be used by the companies to push their agenda of profitability over humanity web 3.0 is a theoretical concept that puts the power back in the hands of people it is a system to move from a trust based system to a truth based system i don't care if whatsapp says that the data is end to end encrypted i want it to be verifiable in the open source if a company thinks that they can push apps like instagram for kids we should have an open discussion and the voting rights to say no the decision of a dislike button being removed or not should be available in the public domain because at the end of the day it is we who are getting affected before blockchain these things were impossible to achieve we had to trust the central system even if they were not telling the truth now all this information can be available on a chain for everyone to see and vote do we all have the steps needed to move from a centralized to a completely decentralized world well we have the building blocks which have to be assembled and the missing pieces of the puzzles need to be addressed will people really have the technical bent to be able to participate in complexities of web3 like examining chain data participate in voting and governance etc to start with not everyone will but still large enough to represent multiple point of views and hopefully a sensible conclusion Hope this video gives you a window side view into what web3 can possibly look like and there is so much more to it which we'll cover in the next videos but uh, yeah this hopefully gives you an insight into it right so do share this video with the friends uh, who might be interested to learn about the topic and see you in the next video till then bye bye